the Philadelphia Eagles fans are all they are talking all they are talking about is getting Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun come back to Philly. Deshaun come home. Will he actually come home though? But for this episode, guys, you Philadelphia Eagles fans, I'm gonna let you live your dream. I'm gonna bring Deshaun Jackson back to Philadelphia and see how well he improves your team. Cause you, we know you guys need bitch ass wide receivers. Cause you guys have none besides like Jordan Matthews. So I'm gonna let you live your dream. So here you are. I'll give you Deshaun freaking Jackson. Welcome to another video, and it has been a while since we've done one of these episodes of the NFL offseason series. Free agency is quickly approaching us. I think it is here in about a couple of weeks, and today we're going to be doing the Philadelphia Eagles. Move for the Philadelphia Eagles. Deshaun Jackson would be a free agent, but for some reason in Madden, they don't have him as a free agent. I don't know why, but he never is. But this is the storyline that's been going on. So you guys know I am a Redskins fan and I don't want Sean going back to the Eagles, obviously. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to give Eagles fans what they want and try to get Deshaun. Uh, what else do they need? I'll just give them a third. No, I'll try to give them a fourth and see if they're interested in this one now. And they accept a deal. So now Deshaun Jackson is back in Philadelphia like a bunch of Philadelphia Eagles fans want. So now we have Jordan Matthews, Green Beckham in the slot, and Deshaun Jackson on the other side. Obviously, I think uh, the Eagles, if I were an Eagles fan, I'd be very satisfied with having Deshaun Jackson back, obviously, because he is a great player. He stretches the field. Um, the defensive side of the ball, they don't have much to worry about other than cornerbacks. I don't really want to work on anything. Maybe the defensive tackle position could be improved, but cornerbacks definitely need some cornerbacks, and... Uh, there's no one in free agency I really want. Honestly, I think the only player. But this one I saw interesting. I wanted to show you guys this. Steve Smith Sr. is in free agency. He didn't retire on this game, which is kind of cool as well. But I want... This is the only cornerback I would take. It's Morris Claiborne from the Dallas Cowboys. Because, you know, why not? So I'm going to give him some money so he can come to Philadelphia. 87. Well, yeah, okay. So we're above everybody else. So, uh... That's the only move. I'll probably sign Adam Jones like I always do. But now we're going to try to trade for some more players. The draft this year. So why not? Because the Eagles really don't have any picks, so there's no point. So why not try to get Joe Hayden to be one of our corners? And they accept it right away. So Joe Hayden is now on Philadelphia as well. And now hopefully Morris Claiborne comes to Philadelphia. So now that we have Joe Hayden... We'll have Morris Claiborne on the other side. And now the only position I want to address is the second defensive tackle. So let's try to get a mediocre defensive tackle, maybe a star caliber. Because we don't have any assets to really get anyone too great. Because the Eagles, you know, traded a bunch to get Carson Wentz. Which I don't care that they did that because they did need a quarterback definitely. Because Mark Sanchez and was not going to do it and Sam Bradford maybe maybe he could have turned into something but you just never know about that so uh what else okay I I don't know what I'm doing so we need to look at defensive tackle RB Jones or RB Jones or whatever his name was from uh, the Jaguars I think I don't even never even heard of this guy but he's a 78 overall so he gives us a second D tackle at the position so now our defense looks like this so it looks decent. Our cornerbacks are going to look fine. And then we can sign a backup linebacker for these guys. And sign a third corner. And the defensive line looks just fantastic in the offense. We definitely need a left tackle. But other than that, Philadelphia Eagles after the offseason. This is what they're going to look like. Not what they're going to look like, but this is what I made them look like. Sebastian Vollmer. Barb Bray, whatever this guy's name is, Waniski, Brandon Brooks, I think that is. Brandon Brooks fits for some reason. Yep, that's exactly what that is. And Lane Johnson, Zach Ertz, Brent Selleck, a tight end, Deshaun Jackson, Nelson Aguilar. Brent Selleck just going to temporarily play the fullback position. We got Chase Daniel backing up Carson Wentz, Ryan Matthews, Darren Sproles, of course, and Wendell Smallwoods back there as well. Doral Green Beckham in the slot, and Jordan Matthews. And wide receiver number one as defensive side of the ball. We have Malcolm Jenkins. Like, of course, 
Nigel Bradham, Jordan Hicks, and Michael Kendricks, Rodney McLeod Jr., Morris Claiborne, Connor Barwin, Fletcher Cox, RB, RD, is it RB or RD? It's, oh, I'm, I was, I was wrong, Avery. I don't know, maybe you say that a different way, but Brandon Graham and Joe Hayden. So that is the team for Philadelphia. Obviously, we're in the preseason right now, but when we get to playoffs, you best believe Carson Wentz is leading us there because it's been a while since I've done an episode of the offseason series, but the last one I did was the Ravens, and I'm pretty sure we made it in, but we got out the first round. That's not happening this time. See you guys there. Got here. We just got to the playoffs, but we are in the wild card round. And as I can see, my TV. I think there's something wrong with my screen, but we are 12 and four. One player has regressed. What does that mean? Who? Caleb Sturgis. Oh my gosh. No way. Our kicker's down. We are screwed. Who cares? Madden. Don't need to know that. Okay. So uh, everything looks good. Everything's looking good. So we went 12. And four, but we're still in wild card. What is that? What? That makes the wait. I guess someone in the NFC had better records than us because we are playing in wild card weekend. So honestly, I'm kind of curious to see um, what the other records were. Falcons 14 and two, Seahawks 13 and three. Those are the ones that get the buys. Okay, I understand now. All right, so Falcons and Seahawks got the buys. All right, but uh, let's look at the stats on the season. And uh, 22 passing touchdowns for Carson Wentz in 10 interceptions. That is not bad whatsoever. Four touchdowns, one interception for Chase Daniel. Don't know why he even played a game. Uh, 1,336 yards for Darren Sproles and 506 for Wendell Smallwood and 80 rushing yards for our, <laughs> our backup running back, which is kind of interesting. Wendell Smallwood got 12 touchdowns and Darren Sproles had eight. And he only fumbled once on the year that's pretty damn good uh receiving deshaun with 551 yards and seven touchdowns so uh sean jackson didn't make much of an impact um that's only like that's not very much jordan matthews 857 doral green beckham 906 yards deshaun jackson would be pissed off at those numbers i'm telling you that right now he loves getting the ball and those aren't very good numbers. I mean, I guess he did have the most receptions on the team, but I don't know, man. He's He gets a lot of yards, so I don't see run after catch. Ever. That is, no, nah, that's way down for him because, you know, I think he's like, may, he's somewhere up there in statistic with the leading receiver next to Jerry Rice for like the most catches over 20 yards or something like that. I don't know, but uh, anyways, enough about Deshaun Tackles. Uh, interceptions who led in interceptions Malcolm Jenkins of course he's at B safety sacks um, Carter Barwin with almost 18 that is ridiculous that's nice Fletcher Cox with 13 and a half Brandon Graham with 13 so this team got to quarterbacks this is a nice pass rushing team four no that's three three with 13 and above and eight for I'm, I'm still not going to say that name and uh that's all I want to look at. So now I want to look at the team stats. We were 18th in the NFL in offense. So come on, man. Defense. We are first. So we have the best defense in the league. I built the best defense in the league. I mean, I was kind of expecting it after uh, the stats I just saw uh, for sacks. But let's simulate this first game and hope we make it to the divisional. Defense wins championship. So I was not even scared. Ryan Matthews out for three weeks and Brent Selleck. Brent Selleck is out for six weeks, which is interesting because I thought I had injuries off, but you know, it's whatever. So I kind of actually want to look. I swear injuries were off. Um, no, they aren't. So, uh, okay. See, I don't get, why is this giving me this message? I don't even have a league password. It showed me that earlier. I didn't really understand that. If anyone knows and you know, you can feel free to tell me, but Let's just continue on with the video. I guess injuries can be on or whatever. Steve. Okay, so uh, hopefully we get to the conference championship. We lost in the conference championship. Oh, no, we didn't. We lost in the division, not the conference championship. We didn't even make it to the conference championship. Gosh dang it, that sucks. Um, let's look at this, uh, the playoff schedule and see how it all went down. 
did. We put up a good fight. We lost 10 to 30. That's pretty bad. Wild card. How did we beat the Saints by? That's pretty good. 21 34. That's pretty good. Um, player stats. See how Carson Wentz did in that game. Chase Daniels. How do you throw a touchdown? Carson Wentz, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Breeze, come on. You're one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Throwing four interceptions in a playoff game. You got, must be crazy. All right. Uh, divisional. Uh, Carson Wentz must have done hella bad. Zero touchdowns, one interception. And Russell Wilson with two. And zero interceptions, which sucks. But, uh... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And if you want me to do your team, if I haven't done it yet, you can go ahead and look in the playlist and see if I've done your team yet. But if I have not, if you want to request it to me before free agency, free agency starts, I will definitely do it for you. So, uh, But anyways, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And it's Crunchables. I'm saying peace.